Okay, guys, so we've been talking about, this is probably part two, uh, we've been talking about how there could be some ramifications beyond the obvious for the setup of this Area 51 storming. And people have kind of noted the more obvious issue of, you know, is there some setup for this that is going to have some type of implications coming onto society with regard to hampering our free speech, stuff like that. A call for an uprising, did a video talking about that. I'm not saying he's wrong. It probably is part and parcel of it. I don't know. Just did a video talking about that. But I really think that there could be something more that is going to be used through the seeding of aliens, a king coming, uh, the moon sliver, a star coming, and really this pushing forth of an idea being seeded into your consciousness about this coming false messiah, which a good portion of my videos have been warning and talking and raising awareness and consciousness of this Israeli false messiah and his Noahide that is coming. And now that Israel has had her 70 years, I continue to grow more and more concerned, especially around the period of time called the Feast of Trumpets, in which Christ will come and fulfill that feast. Well, I tend to wonder also if we are being set up for the false messiah to be coming. And do you know this movie, uh, Focus? with Will Smith. Well, I actually don't know this movie, but from the trailer, I deduce that he talks about having this system of inf inflicting certain thoughts into somebody's mind in such a way as to plant seeds of a particular direction of manipulation that you'd like to take someone in, but at a level then so deep and obviously secretive that you don't know that you're having that information being planted in you through brainwashing. And I just want to play a tiny little bit of this. If you know this movie, great. If you don't, this is where this concept is coming from. I wonder if this is what's being done to us through the Area 51 storming for this greater coming of really two messiahs, a false one and a real one. Let's listen. what you get when you hire a con man. I can convince anyone of anything. You see, there's a science to getting people to trust you. I want in. With your current skill set, you don't. Maybe you could teach me in your room. Okay, so that's enough of that. So, too, Hollywood is sitting here telling you how they operate. He says, uh, we never drop the con. Drop the con. Dance with me. Never break. Make me sway. Where are the black people? Like <laughs> okay. So then they started talking more in the second trailer. It's this art of convincing people to trust you. It's all about emotion, connection. What makes you think you can trust her? I don't really care about that part. And then he's going to say that it's a game of focus which is done through these movies and through the media to focus you on whatever it is that they want you to see and lay these little things in your consciousness for a reason. At the end of the day, this is a game of focus. It's very confusing. So the great takeaway from that movie is that, you know, I guess they basically seed into somebody's consciousness uh, the scam of some type of betting that they want him to put this particular number where th you'll learn in other trailers or the movie itself that they put this number, I think it's 53, but whatever it is, I don't really care. They just put it into his mind all day long or for several days or whatever 
by, you know, every different means possible, just sticking this number in his face so many times that by the end of the day or, you know, however long it's elapsed, they know that he is going to make this bet on this particular number. And of course, they end up, you know, basically what looks like stealing a bunch of money from him. And so the whole premise is that they can manipulate you by putting stuff in your face, but putting it under the radar and doing it so many times that you are prepped and ready to go to manipulate. So that's why I'm concerned about this Area 51 thing and all these advertisers, all these people getting on board, treating it like a joke, treating it like it's funny, haha, but back behind the scenes, if it is in fact a setup for utilizing what happens to be a United Nations base on Mount Hermon, which is at the 33rd parallel, and people are saying it's a Nephilim portal, and it was ever used in the first place where these 200 watchers descended on this mountain. It's um, where the transfiguration, from what I understand, occurred, where Christ came in all of his glory. Uh, there was a pact by these demonic angels to take these women and create this offspring. And a lot could be said about the makeup of this Franken tranny Christ that's coming that it is very feasible. He could be a perfected DNA Nimrod like entity. Uh, Nimrod number two. And of course, he obtained some type of power from Satan. And who knows what they've done with, with his seed, with his DNA, to produce him if he is, in fact, some type of, of Nephilim that they have been constructing and then hooking up to AI. And, uh, you know, this whole region of this mountain, and now the UN is here, and it just, it, it causes me to wonder, considering the fact that it is, in fact, in the desert, I believe in... Syria, somewhere in that uh, locale. I'll leave a, a link for this down below so that you can check it out for yourself. It's about 50 minutes. But um, we've talked about before where Jesus was very clear in warning us and telling us in Matthew 24 that uh, several times that a false Christ would be coming, that he would be hailing from the desert locale and that he would be uh, part of your inner chamber and part of their whole philosophy with this Kabbalah that these Jewish black magic Kabbalah practitioners like Rabbi Cohen, the director of the UN uh, NGO, non-governmental organization, the Institute for the Noahide Code, Rabbi Cohen has an entire teaching, a divine image book. We were looking at that before where it was talking about the imminent return of the Messiah, their Messiah, who is not Jesus. And Jesus gave explicit directions that if they say there is the Christ in the desert, you are to reject that. And I just tend to wonder if this whole Area 51 thing is in fact seeding you and manipulating your consciousness to believe that the Messiah is coming, aliens are coming on this sliver moon and much more could be said about that. So it, it, when you really consider all of the evangelism that's being done on a global scale by these rabbis of unbelief to seed the consciousness of people towards their coming Messiah that the Bible would call the Antichrist, that should really make your ears perk up. And I know it's been seeded into our consciousness through the Gentile American church, at least in my estimation, that, you know, Christ is just always coming, but that he's never actually going to come. And I just think that is such garbage trash. I just throw that in the garbage. Um, we are getting to that point where the Lord is is going to have to keep his promise. But the sad thing is, is that there are two messiahs coming, a fake one and a real one. And men like this that work within the UN and are braggarts about the UN now being uh, the the universal Noahide, they're, they're, they're putting this out there, this time, effort, energy, money, etc., for a reason. It's not just, it's not just to give you something to yawn over and go, okay, next. It's because they're working towards a goal. And I, I'm wondering if that goal is being uh, put into place, I think 70 days from today, I believe it is, 
will be Rosh Hashanah will be this feast of trumpets. And so one way or another, we will be able to rule out for this year. Did the Lord in fact come? Did the Antichrist as well come? Or are we to wait for another year? And with the amount of effort and money and energy being put into all of this evangelism for this false messiah and for this uptick and in interest of aliens with that Area 51 scenario, it feels like it is a setup on the level of focus to, to bring the unsuspecting into an awareness to accept a coming false messiah is a good way to explain it. And I'll just let you listen to a little tiny bit of this. You know, in the new Secretary General, Antonio Gratis, stated in his first speech to the, to the United Nations Security Council that member societies, including religious leaders, take action to promote and prevention of global conflicts. And me, as a rabbi, member of a religious community, founded and director of the Institute of Noahide Code, I want to show you today that the universal Noahide Code, we all talked about before, about the rule of law and how we're all the same. I'd like to start off maybe with a joke first. No, let's that not. It was once a let's not. So anyhow, a lot more could be said about all that. But they really are trying to create this entire culture of peace. And they are willing to use uh, the demonic entity pretending to be aliens and really pushing people's interests in aliens to achieve their goals and to push through a one world unity for a fake peace that their Antichrist will be bringing, which is incredibly dangerous because this would be what the Bible warned you would happen and it appears that it very well could be coming about and coming about much quicker than people originally assumed and people have almost been warned for so long about the end time that they just lost all sense of urgency they're asleep they don't care um, when in fact we should be more concerned than ever before so i'm always really careful to just continue putting this up as often as i can to show people um, courts of justice and the, the sub laws, they're dead serious about bringing about a court and an antichrist that has no problem cutting your head off. The court is to administer the death penalty by decapitation. This is what they want to do. This is what they're going to do. And they are willing to use anything to scare you into compliance to force your hand to do what they want you to do, which is to reject Christ and to accept this coming Messiah, who is the Antichrist, who will push forth a, a delegation of both humans and I'm convinced robots as well to depopulate the world and to change it. And so there is a book here, Divine Image, and we were looking at a little bit of it before. I invite you to check it out, intro, and then, you know, they go through what they mean by all the laws. So everything you would ever want to know is here, and they have a idolatry and blasphemy law. They will not accept the worship of Jesus as being okay. That Antichrist is not going to allow for competition. And so by the time you get down to chapter 10, they will tell you that this Messiah is coming imminently, but I'm telling you that Jesus Christ is coming according to a feast. And we'll talk more about that. I can only fit so much in in 15 minutes. But they're very excited that this is part of a law code. They have the full force, military and otherwise, of America behind this. They want to bring this uh, to the world as this education day, re-education re-education camps and force people underneath this draconian law this law code and they're going to do it and i wonder if this area 51 thing is part and parcel of that lie because it feels contrived to me it feels dangerous to me only time will tell ultimately but we are called to hide in the ark and trust in Christ for our salvation through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and to call as many hearts and souls into that 
gospel as possible and to brace for whatever comes.